With Kiev secure, the Mongols planned a coordinated drive deeper into Europe. They would divide the forces of Poland and Hungary by attacking both kingdoms simultaneously. At Liegnitz, the old armies of Europe would be tested against Mongol-style warfare. In the fertile grasslands of Liegnitz, the Mongols would face Europe's greatest armies, led by the forces of Poland. An army from Bohemia was marching to assist the Polish forces gathering at Liegnitz. Together, they hoped to stop the Mongols before Western Europe succumbed to a full-scale invasion. If the Mongols acted quickly, they could defeat the scattered Polish army and force the Bohemians to withdraw. By raiding the enemy's farmland, the Mongols could plunder valuable resources. The Mongols had adopted gunpowder technology from their Chinese subjects and now brought with them the mighty nest of bees. This explosive projectile weapon allowed them to target the enemy with a devastating barrage of rockets. As the farm smoldered and smoke billowed to the sky, the Mongols claimed the spoils from the wreckage. Oh, 
Mongols defeated the Polish detachment and continued their unrelenting drive. The Mongols eliminated Poland's knights, dealing a critical blow to the European forces. Jerry, you're not. What did you want to do? 
As the battle raged in the fields, the army from Bohemia was drawing ever closer. The Mongols were running out of time to defeat the Polish army and neutralize the threat from Bohemia. Oh, my God. 
Despite being outnumbered by the European armies, the Mongols were victorious. As fire scorched the farmlands of Lignitz, Europe reeled in horror. The ingenuity of the Mongol Empire had brought a terrifying new kind of destruction to the doorstep of the West. <laughs> 